All right, guys, it's here. I have another huge Zara haul for you. My rack is actually full because I picked up so many items. That's how big this haul was. So you're gonna have to sit tight because this one's probably gonna be a little bit longer than my last one. If you haven't checked out my last one, go ahead and check it out. I will leave it in the card above so that you can click on it and watch that first because I also got some really pretty new in spring items in that haul. Was really excited to pull these together and put some outfits together to give you guys a little bit of inspo just kind of like some things that I was thinking would be really cute for spring and summer. Also, if you're new here, hey girl, my name is Amanda and I make fashion inspired content with a few vlogs and like lifestyle stuff sprinkled in here and there. If that's the kind of stuff that you like, then go ahead and subscribe down below. It would help support me and my channel and help me to keep making more videos like this. But enough talking, let's get into it. Okay. First thing that I want to get into, can we talk about this top that I'm wearing? Oh my God, okay. I saw this on the website and I was like, add to cart right away because are you seeing these colors? I'm just gonna dive in here and let you know, in my mind, a few reasons why I freaking love this top. First of all, the colors. I mean, the colors are screaming spring, summer. Really, there's they're screaming a little bit more summer, but it's okay, we can rock it for spring and transition it into summer. Um, because of all the tropical green leaves and the bright, beautiful tropical colors, one of the reasons that I love this top is if you can see closely, I'll come up a little closer so you can see, but if you can see, there's a lot of diversity in this top, not only in skin color, but in hair texture. And any time that I get the opportunity to visually express things that I love and care about, I am here for it. And this top is doing all of that for me. Originally, I was not planning to wear this top with this dress. I had my eye on another one. I'll show you a little insert of the one that I really wanted. It's been out of stock for weeks and I can't get my hands on it. But when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I actually might even like that one a little bit and I'm in love with this top. I will say, is it just me or do Zara t-shirts fit a little weird? They're like, they're really, they're either really boxy and kind of like awkwardly cut or cropped in a weird spot. Maybe it's just that I have a short torso, I really don't know. But I wasn't planning to wear it like a regular t-shirt anyways. I mean, you could totally tuck it into like a skirt and do some different things with it. But I just decided to tie it over this ribbed orange dress. So I will leave the details on this dress and top somewhere below, like I always do. So with that dress, I'm just wearing these Perspect Heel sandal, open toe sandals from Zara. Okay, the next set that I wanna talk about is this gorgeous little number. Ugh, I saw this on the website and I passed it by a couple of times. And you know when you just keep seeing something and you keep thinking about it, but you don't add it to the cart because you're not sure, but you're just like, that's when you realize that you love it. That was me. <laughs> so this is actually a cycling set. It has this floral print all over it. So this is the top and I actually first got a medium because that's normally the size that I wear. But when I got it in the mail, it was a little tight for comfort. So I think that it might run a tiny bit small. I could have gotten away with keeping the medium, but honestly, I didn't want to be so, it was really restricted, like right in this area. And it fit me. It was just like a, a little too tight to be wearing all day kind of a thing. Um, so I returned it and I got a large instead. I think this is probably double lined. It's pretty thick. It's not see-through at all. Love that. And then these are the bottoms that go with it. Cycling short. And this is an athletic kind of um, stretchy, slinky athletic material. This is the waistband. The waistband is nice and thick. It's about this it's about that thick right there. And I just styled that with my 
oversized poplin shirt that you guys saw in my last Zara haul. If you didn't see it, I'll leave it in the card up above so you can go check that out. But I paired it with that same um, oversized poplin top and remember how I was telling you guys that I had so many outfits planned for that top, I was not lying. And that is just another reason why I needed it in my life because you can do so many things with it. You see how I styled it, it just kind of adds a little bit more coverage for comfort and style, honestly. I think it makes it look so much more stylish with that oversized poplin shirt. And then I just paired it with those same Perspex sandals. Okay, the next one we're gonna talk about are these gorgeous red, high-waisted, thick-belted pants. You saw my blue ones in the last Sara video. These are those same pants, but in red. Um, I love the blue ones so much, and then when I saw these red ones, I had to get it. I was actually surprised at how bright this red was. I kind of thought it was gonna be more of a deeper red, just from the way that it was looking online, but it's actually a nice, bright, more of a springy type of red and there's so many outfits you could style with these like it would even go really well with the shirt that i'm wearing with that oh, such a look so as you can see they're the high-waisted uh trousers with the pleating in the front um super thick belt that give you that snatched cinched waist that we all love and I styled these pants two different ways. The first way that I styled them is with the asymmetrical white top. This I feel like was a super pretty, classy, more dressy look. And I love how that look came out. I think it's just timeless, effortless, classy, just you look expensive. So this is the asymmetrical top that I paired it with in the first look. Um, as you can see, it has some ruching up here. It has one long sleeve with a, cuffed, um, with a cuff at the bottom. It's ruched here on the side. And it has a seam right here, which creates that ruching. And then on the back, it has a button closure which I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to get those buttons closed, especially if you have nobody there to help you put it on. Um, that's a little challenging. I don't know what's up with that, but completely worth it. This top is so beautiful, effortless, classy, expensive looking. Um, this is definitely something timeless that you can re-wear so many times in so many different ways. And if you guys see this top, if you like the way this top looks, you better snatch it when you see it because this thing sells out like crazy. It sold out online so quickly. Um, and then when it restocked, it sold out again. And in the store, I had, I went in the day that they were getting new merchandise and I asked for it and they hadn't even put it out yet. So I just got lucky. But if you see this, it's gonna go fast. The second way that I paired those trousers are with this t-shirt right here. I saw this with the red at the bottom and the little bit of pop of blue in there and it was a done deal for me. The only thing that I will say is I'm kind of shocked at how big this t-shirt is. This one actually fits like a literal t-shirt and I was expecting it to fit like some of their smaller fitted t-shirts so I got a medium but I kind of wish that I had gotten a small and I might actually have to exchange it for that reason. Um, it's a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be, but it's okay, I'm gonna work with it. I can tie it up like how I tied this t-shirt. I could do something with it um, if I can't find it in the small. But I was kind of bummed at how big it was. I wasn't expecting that. The piping is in a navy blue. It's a very dark blue. And then I really liked the graphic on the front of it. It's very fashionista, stylish, like stylish kind of t-shirt, you know? It kind of shows how these trousers could be dressed up or dressed down to make it a little bit more casual. Maybe I'll show you guys in the try on how it looks with maybe some white Air Force Ones or something where you could dress it down. All right, the next thing that I have to show you guys is this orange set which I'm sure you guys have seen online if you shop on Zara a lot. It's this beautiful peachy um, orange set. 
This is the top. It comes with a top and a midi skirt. Oh, yeah, it's a midi skirt. Um, it's high neck, which is very cute and effortless. Um, it has this band at the bottom, elastic band. I really like the way this fits. I like the high neck. Underneath the arm, it doesn't come down so low that your bra will show, which I like. Then this is the matching skirt. It has that same waist uh, elastic band at the top. And you could wear these and make your midriff show, but what I really like about this is the skirt is so long and the top is long enough to where they could just meet in the middle of your torso and you don't really have any skin showing, maybe a little bit when you're moving. I like that you don't have to leave your midriff just out there like that. You can cover it and connect them if you want to and just have the little bit of movement. I love wearing this set together and separately. Uh, I think that they're just both a great staple. You could pair it with um, many different things and create different outfits with. So the way that I styled that set is with this tiger print silk feel, satiny feel um, button-up top. I love this top, okay? Just get into the tigers. And then this print right here, really pretty. I like this top for the orange and mustardy kind of yellow. And then I paired it with the same gold belt that you guys saw in my last haul. If you guys see those belts, grab them because those are another things that go immediately. People snatch those up like crazy. This top is so um, versatile. You can style it in, with so many different, in so many different ways. In this case, I just paired it over the set. I think it's a very um, lush, luxe type of look that I put together with that. The next item that I got is this white racerback ribbed dress, which is the same orange one that I'm wearing underneath this t-shirt, um, just in white. And it is a little bit see-through, so you will have to wear nude undergarments, but I'm not mad at that. This is the shape of the back, so it's not too racerback to where you can't wear your bra. This is a thicker cotton ribbed material than like a white beater, I'd say, uh, but it does feel a lot like a white beater type of style. I Again, I love these dresses. They're gonna be great for spring and summer because you can do so many things with them and rewear them so many times, but not feel like you're rewearing the same outfit. So I love that for these and they're only what? These things are only $17.90, so that's a great deal. So I paired that white dress with this adorable pink bubblegummy Betty Boop t-shirt. The pink on the shirt is kind of, um, it's not like a solid pink. If you can see that, it kind of has like a, almost like a dyed effect. I love the way that it looks. I love the colors on the t-shirt. This is just beautiful, springy, bright, and I love the way that these two look together with some white Air Force Ones, some Nike socks, or if you want to dress it up a little bit, put on those Perspect uh, open toe sandals from Zara that I showed you. Also, I love the fit of this t-shirt. This fits like a normal, typical t-shirt. I did get it in a medium and it feels like it feels like a medium kind of a t-shirt. It's not like an awkward cropped cut or an awkward boxy cut. It's just a normal t-shirt fit. The next one I'm gonna show you is another one of those ribbed dresses. This time it's in more of a blue. Honestly, I would call this like a, almost a periwinkle color. It's more of a purpley blue than like a baby blue, but it's really pretty. Here it is up close. I love the way these fit and you'll see in the little try on that I paired it with this t-shirt. So this is the t-shirt that I paired the dress with and then you can see like the cool faces on there, the different hair textures. I love that Zara is doing these kind of t-shirts right now. Completely here for it. And I love that they mix the blue and pinks together with this dark charcoal kind of a gray. This doesn't quite fit like that Betty Boop t-shirt. This is more of like an awkward boxy t-shirt cut that I was talking about before. Um, it's very square. 
but again i wasn't really too worried about that i just wanted to mention that in case you were expecting it to fit like a normal t-shirt fit um, but i just tied this up in a little knot so you can kind of see the dress and it kind of gave that oversized look on top i love the contrast of that wear it with some white air force ones pair it with some perspex heels you know dress it up or down it's up to you do you the next thing that i got is another t-shirt and again it has that same navy blue piping around the arms and the neck so i love this top for the colors the print on it is a very nudey kind of beige color and i like the pop of navy blue with that what I really liked about the top was not only the colors, but it says flourish and create to impact the world, stripping down to the rawest and most authentic version of yourself. And I just kind of thought, especially in the times that we're in now with everything and all of the different issues going on, this message couldn't be more meaningful and again, visual expression, I'm here for it. I love the way this t-shirt fits. It's more of a fitted kind of a t-shirt, even though I still went with a medium. This, I think, is supposed to be a little bit more fitted than, you know, like a baggy t-shirt. I paired that top with these paper bag waist jeans in that kind of creamy color. So these are those paper bag waist jeans in an off-white cream color. I really liked the idea of the way that, um, Zara does these paper bag waist jeans. I was a little weary about trying these because I wasn't sure how that was gonna look like on my body type. And since it said baggy fit, I actually sized down just to kind of see what it would look like. So normally I would probably get these in an eight, in a US eight, and I got these in a US six. Um, I wanted to see how they would look a little bit more fitted, but with, still with that paper bag waist look and I'm not mad at it I like it I'm not in love but I do like it I don't think that they're unflattering I don't think that they're the most flattering either but I do like the way that they look and feel and fit and I might get I might do another video on that I'm thinking about going to Zara and just buying a pair of every one of the jeans that they have out just to do Kind of like a comparison to each pair of jeans and how they would fit on a curvy short torso kind of body so if you guys want to see something like that let me know because i i might just do it anyways to be honest but that outfit is more of like when you want to wear something casual but you still want to look put together you know you always have those occasions where you don't want any of the fuss but you still want to look put together and like you put some effort in uh without being fussy that one was it for me okay the next item that I have to show you is another pair of those paper bag waist jeans and I got these in like a true blue denim color this is the back of them this time I got these in my normal size so I got these in a size US 8 and I really actually like how these ones fit. I think I kind of like them more than the ones that I sized down. And I'm actually feeling that kind of baggy fit. I rolled up the bottom of the pants just to give it a little bit more flair. These look really good with some new bodysuits that Zara came out with. I don't know if they've ever been in stock in other seasons because I've I never shopped on other seasons, but I just discovered these bodysuits in the store the other day and I love the way that they fit. I feel like they're so flattering. So a simple, tight fitted bodysuit with these baggy fit jeans is such a cute look with the Perspex sandals, you're killing it. So I just put those jeans together with this simple bodysuit that I picked up at Zara literally yesterday because I was inside the store shopping again because I'm a shopaholic. So this is a really pretty, sort of a pinky nude this type of color looks really good on my skin tone. Um, they had it in white and black, and I think they even had it in a lilac color, actually. Uh, lilac would be really pretty for spring. But I got them in all three colors because I knew just by looking at it that this bodysuit would be a hit. I knew it would be really flattering because of the dip in the front. Um, it's not a sharp V, which I like. It's like a U shape. 
and the straps are really thick which is more flattering for me and then you the back of it it comes down almost at the same length as the front so it doesn't come down so far that it shows your bra you can still wear a bra with this and you won't see anything you'll see on the try and clip I'm obviously wearing a bra with it and you can't see the straps but I love the way this fit it's not it's not a thong back which is kind of weird but you know make it work we can make it work but this looked long enough that I just decided to stick with a medium and it fits really comfortably just fine not uncomfortable at all this is my go-to must-have basic I think for this season all right, you guys, that is it for this haul. I really hope that you guys liked it, and I really hope that you guys like the outfits that I put together just as much as you did as the last Sara haul that I did. Let me know in the comments so that I know if I should keep making content like this or what else you guys want to see from me. Also, I wanted to mention thank you so much for all the love on my last Zara video and to all my subscribers who have been there from the very beginning plus all the new ones that I just got from that Zara video. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the love um, and support and all the kind comments that you guys left me. I love chatting with all of you guys. I respond to every single comment because I'm not too good for anybody or anything. <laughs> you know, I'm here to like interact and chat with you guys. So I really liked um, all the comments that I got and the conversations that I had with you guys. So. Yeah, just let me know how you're feeling about these and what else you want to see from me. I had a couple really good su suggestions from some of my subscribers, so thank you for that. And I will be following through on those. Maybe it might, it might take a couple videos before we get to that, but I will get to it. Just know that I will get to it. So thank you so much, you guys, for your support, and I'll see you next Sunday.